Today's project is going to be something that I have missed for quite a few years and that was back when I had the shop is my air compressor. I bought this air compressor back right around 2006. What I'm doing to my air compressor today is I'm replacing this head. When I had this in the shop last, I fired it up one day, had my back to it, working on something else. Got to think, boy, that's been running for quite a while. When I turned around, smoke was just bellowing out of here. I burned up my compressor head. I'm not sure how but it's done for. So what I am going to do is I'm going to replace it, which is going to be a fairly easy task, but I want my air compressor back. So what I'm replacing it with is this. I got this at Harbor Freight. I think it ought to work. Should do what I want. Might even be faster than the single because this is a double. Not sure. I have everything I need. Had to buy a new pelt pulley for the motor. And I got my oil over there. Don't mind the mess in the back. I'm going to get started on this. But first we have to get this off, which I already have the cover off because I was taking measurements here and I need to get this pulley off, take this guard off and then get the compressor head off. We're gonna get started on that right now. Don't need that one anymore. I don't think I can reuse this guard because this pulley is way smaller than the new one. For all you safety nuts out there, sorry, this is gonna probably be running without a guard. I will try to reuse it, but I don't guarantee it. Yeah, it's raining. A little tighter than what I thought. Yeah, just what we need is more rain. It's been a rainy winter. I know, I shouldn't be saying a snowy winter, but it's been rainy. Off with the old. So I got the compressor head off. That guard is not going to fit on the new motor. I did make a template of that compressor for my bolt holes and the size of the base. Did have it sitting up here, but for right now, this is what I need. Figuring right about there is where it's going to sit. I'll bolt there. I need to weld a plate on out here. And for that, I'm just going to weld up some angle iron. I think I'll do them like this. Drill holes, put bolts, whatever. Bolt that down. And we'll be good to go. I'm going to get those fitted up for how I want them. Get them welded together and get them put on here. So I think what the plan is going to be is I'm just going to weld a piece of angle iron up here like so, I'll square it up and do another one over here. That should be enough to drill holes in this and put nuts down through it. And I think for as short as this is going to be, it should be enough strength. I'm going to try to run a weld underneath here. Try. I think, think this is going to be my plan. I will get the welder out, get to it. All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tack this in two spots. I'll do the other side. We'll make sure it's gonna fit. We'll make it permanent. That's gonna fit just fine. Perfect. So now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna weld it all up. We'll grind that flat. And to get from the thickness from here to here, I'll see if I can find a washer or something that I can just weld in on top here. We can drill through it and I'll just put some nuts underneath. Let me get on that. So now I'll go through and grind that flush, which I don't have to grind too much. And then we'll find a couple washers maybe to put right there, but I might put them in after I get things bolted down. Keep moving on. So I think I got everything squared up. I think this is straight with the pulley on the motor. Found a couple spacers. I'm going to drill this hole out, get a bolt in it, and then I can get lined back up and we'll drill this one out. Mark those two back here, drill and tap that. We'll make sure whenever we bolt this down that the motor is sitting straight where it needs to be. And then we can figure out what size of a belt I need. I gotta pick up some copper pipe to come out here and come up and come all the way up to here. So I got these two done. Now I'm gonna get this one, the one on the opposite side done, and then we can get it lined up for the last time. And I can measure to see what I need for a belt and also measure, figure out what I need for a copper pipe to run up from here down. And I can hook this thing up and have air again. It is now mounted solid. Hopefully that's the last time I have to unbolt that. This is on. I've measured from here to here with the motor up and I have 11 inches. So I have to find the formula for figuring out the length of the belt. It is the end of day. I'm gonna pick this back up tomorrow. So it's the next day. Where I left off last night was I got the compressor head mounted, pulley on the motor, 
Everything's secured down. I am back to finish it today. What I'm doing is I'm going to run my copper line from there to there. That'll feed from the pump to my tank, fill my tank. Uh, install the belt, which I used a formula I found online and with the calculations I had from here to here, it was 11 inches. The belt needed to be through the calculations of whatever the software uses. It said 51 and three quarters inch, so I went with 52. All this stuff here, minus maybe one of these, should take care of everything I need. We're gonna find out. I have a little work to do. We're gonna get this going. I can't wait. I'll have an air compressor again, so let's get started. I didn't show so what I did here because I had to go to town again all the fittings in the previous clip thrown out the window all I needed was this and so I just used these fittings this was already on the soft copper pipe and then another fitting and I just did some bends and got it up to where I need it so now I got that hooked up I'm going to take it all back apart put some thread tape on at least here and here Put all that back together and then I can put the belt on. We might be able to roll it in to the compressor room and get it fired up. It's not pretty, it'll do the job. Now all I gotta do is get this bolted back down and we'll get the belt on. Since uh, I couldn't find a 51 and three quarter inch belt, I went with a 52 and it's a lawnmower belt, but it should still work just the way I need it to. Just like that, I have a rebuilt air compressor. All I gotta do now is Dump some oil in, get it hauled back through that door and into the corner, get the electric hooked up and fire it up. I should have my air compressor back. We'll see if my janky copper tubing over there will work. Um, if it leaks, I'll just take it off and I'll get the right stuff and do it correctly. But to me, that looks like it might work. We'll see. So it is a new weekend. The last you saw, I had finished getting the compressor head on the compressor, got the belts on, got everything tightened down. I was getting ready to put oil in it and haul it to the back room. I did that all off camera and then I had to go eat and it was late at night and I just never came back out. It is in here temporarily because I'll explain in a minute, but it is hooked up. Everything is fine. It even... It even runs. It made 30 pounds of air last weekend and it held it for a week. Barely any leak off, I'm okay with that. So now I gotta drag it back out because I want to reinforce this bracket. I'm afraid back here where it sticks into that it's vibrating and this ain't gonna hold up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill some holes, plug weld it, I might run a brace from here to here to help hold it up. So that means I gotta drag it back out of here, take everything back off, drill some holes, do some more welding, Put everything back on, wheel it back in here. Yeah, let me get this unhooked and pulled out of here and I'll start disassembling and get that top plate welded. Got it all disassembled again. I got my marks where I wanna drill. I'm only gonna drill, try to drill through this plate and not through this so that when I plug weld it, they'll fuse together with magic. I'll weld them together and then, like I said, I might run a, bra a brace from here to here at an angle. That'll give it some more support out front. And it should be, should be strong enough to hold up for years. We'll see. So I'm gonna get started. So I got four holes that I drilled. How I know where to stop is, I don't know if you can see that. There's a ring. Well, that is this plate. So I knew how far I was. So now when I weld this, I should get a good penetration and it should all stick. And then, like I said, I think I'll do a piece from here to here on both sides and now I'll brace it up. So let me get the water out and we'll get going. There's that. I might not even have to grind those down. So now we'll cut these pieces. We'll grind the paint here, clean this up, and we can weld those on. So I got this one cut, bent, and welded in place. I actually did a little fancy bending. I think that's gonna work. That's gonna work real good. It shouldn't come loose now. So now I've got my other one bent. I'm going to get it welded over here, and I should be done with all the welding on this. We can get it back in the room, get it hooked back up. Of course, it's gonna be still hooked up, kind of janky looking for wiring, but I'll get it bolted to the floor so it doesn't walk away. Drill a hole in the wall to run my airline and I'll have air in the garage, finally. So we'll get this last piece welded on and get it back in there. That 
one's welded in. Now I'll wait for it to cool down a little bit. I'll do a little bit of grinding and we'll get the compressor head put back on, get it all lined up, bolt it back down tight and I'll get it back into the room. So far, so good. Look, I got it back in here and running great. That's hooked up. I even have my line coming through the wall, hooked up, runs up and across and back down over to my hose reel. So I now have air. I just ran through all my air tools, added oil to them all, went through them all. It was like a little kid in a candy store just playing. I don't know what it is about air tools. It was nice having them. It's going to be nice having them back again. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I, I have air. I have air again. It's been years since I've had any air. Right now, we have a full tank. It's all set and ready. All I got to do is pick up that wire clamp, pick up a plug, get it plugged in. I guess that's it for now. So, till next time, thanks for watching.